Hey guys, this is Rowan Fox reporting for Kids First. Today, I'm going to be taking a look at the film Avengers Endgame. Avengers Endgame is an incredible, epic climax to the Marvel Cinematic Universe. It completes several important character arcs that have been set up as early as the first movie in the MCU, Iron Man 2008. This film is filled with twists and turns that keep the audience on the edge of their seat guessing what will come next. It takes place after the events of Avengers Infinity War when, when Thanos has already killed half of life in the universe, completing his ultimate goal. Now, the heroes still left alive after this try to gather the Infinity Stones in order to bring back the, their loved ones that they lost in the snap. The special effects in this film are incredible. I specifically liked how they used the effect for nanotechnology that Tony Stark made, because this effect really showed how he's perfected the technology so much that it's based practically magic, and the way it's showed, it really does look like it. The film isn't great as a standalone film, because it has so many different references to other movies in the MCU, and I feel like you can't really watch on its own because there's so many different jokes that you won't notice if you haven't seen all or at least some of the other MCU films. The music in this film is incredible. I like how it shifts to match the tone of the scenes so quickly yet so seamlessly because there's so many different character stories that are going on in this movie that it does have to change tone depending on who's it following. I also really enjoyed how the music had action cues at certain points just because of how big of a collection that this movie is and it makes sense for these action cues to take place because the audience is really excited for these points and it really makes them filled with anticipation for what's coming next. Overall, I have to give it 5 out of 5 stars because I really love this film. Though I definitely recommend if you haven't already seen Infinity War, you should definitely at least have seen that before watching this movie. I recommend it to ages 9 through 18 because it is a bit confusing and maybe some kids under that age might not understand what's going on. This is Rowan Fox and Kids First signing out. Bye! I like this one.